Hello YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys my custom Power Mac G5 build. Um, it is actually no longer a Power Mac G5. It is actually an ATX mod case. So, I'm going to do a quick rundown of what this what this guy looks like and uh, what are the internal components. There's a good look at the front of the case. Um, I kept the SD, or I mean I kept the uh, CD drive and um, yeah it looks pretty good it's pretty shiny and um, you know needs a couple paint touch-ups here and there but uh, the LEDs certainly do look great so we're gonna open it up here and as you can see it is bright as heck on the inside um, I also painted the edges of the um, panel here with a bl light blue paint, but it doesn't show it very well because the uh, LEDs are just incredibly bright. Um, so let's start out. We got a um, I painted this area here light blue, and um, we got a normal CD CD drive um, CRW. There we go. That looks a little bit better. Um, we got a water cooler. And ATX motherboard, and uh, yeah, so yeah, the specs. The specs are um, four 500 gigabyte Seagate hard drives in RAID zero configuration. Um, probably get about 400 um, read and like 350 write with those. Um, I only use those for games. Um, I've got a one terabyte backup drive and a 120 gigabyte SSD drive. It's a Kingston HyperX. You can see it right there. And uh, yeah, um, as far as graphics card goes, I've got a R9 290 reference graphics card, which does ex exceedingly well in this case because of the amount of airflow that is pushed through the front, up and over, into the graphics card and out the back. Um, Got a water cooler for the CPU. It's an uh, Antec Cooler 620. Uh, it's only a single 120, uh, yeah, 120 millimeter radiator. Um, probably gonna upgrade that to a dual, and probably run the line up through here. Um, I just got to see what spatial relations are and see if see if that's uh, possible. Um, as far as the CPU goes. It's a um, an FX eight three hundred and fifty um, AMD, and um, for the motherboard we've got a M five A nine ninety FX Pro R two point um, ASUS motherboard. Does pretty well. Um, overclocks quite nicely. And uh, to finish it off, we've got a Thermaltake Smart M eight hundred and fifty watt power supply. Yep. And uh, we've got a sound card too, but that's not important. Um, but yeah, I, I think she looks pretty good. Um, I probably spent about, I want to say, mm, probably around 20 hours on this guy. And uh, yeah. Had to do uh, some custom cutting here. Had to... Um, trim off this whole area through here and around the edges as you can see in order to slide the the, the ATX motherboard towards the top um, also went through and you know custom painted this and the latches and everything else um, all the accenting like right here and on the door a couple different areas um, the LED fans didn't fit very well, so I had to use uh, twist ties on those for temporary um, mounting solutions. I'm probably going to get 100 millimeter fans because these 80 millimeter fans are a little bit small. They don't fit quite right. Um, but yeah, it, it looks pretty good, and uh, I'm pretty happy with it. Last hard drive is way down there, but you can see it. Um, it's probably too many LEDs. Probably going to cut cut those. Uh, LED strips down. 
to only a few. But yeah, just uh, leave in the comments comment section of what you guys think about it, and is there any other mods that I should do? Should I put a second R9290 in there? I might have to take out the CD drive, but that would be a pretty cool mod. I don't know, just let me uh, let me know what you guys think.